everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my go-to makeup for travel. I just got back in town after spending the weekend in Austin, maybe about an hour ago. So I figured I might as well share with you kind of an idea of how I pack my makeup and what makes me decide what I'm going to bring versus what I'm going to keep. So let's get right in. I'm going to share with you how I categorize my items and what I am currently reaching for when I'm packing up my makeup. When packing my makeup bag, I pack in order of priority, so I'll work my way from the most important items all the way down to the least important items, and this way ensures that if I start to run out of space, I know that everything that was really important to have in my makeup bag is already packed and good to go. So I do separate my makeup out into three different categories. These are um, helpful when trying to decide what to start with with packing your makeup so you don't forget something that was really critical. And the first category is the high priority items. These are the essentials, the things that I need to create a full makeup look and I'm set. The second category are the medium priority items. These are the preferred but not required items. So things that I would like to add to a makeup look in an ideal world, but if I can't fit them, then it's fine. But ultimately I would prefer to have them fit in my makeup bag. And then lastly are the lower priority items. So these are the things that are really extra. If I just feel like being glam and I want to add like a lash or something fancy like that, then if I can have it, if I have the room, I'll put it in there. If not, it's really not a big deal. And sometimes even if I do have the room, I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother with the extras. So these are really like the low priority items. So in the essentials category, there are five products, the foundation, concealer, brows, finishing powder and mascara. For foundation, what I'm packing right now is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. I mentioned this in my recent favorites video, so check it out if you haven't. For the concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. This is now sold at Ulta too. I saw it at Ulta maybe like a month or so ago. So if you are interested and you don't want to order online, then check out your local Ulta. For my brows, um, I alternate between the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the NYX or NYX brand. Right now I'm using NYX and I use their Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso number 7. Yeah, number 7. For the finishing powder, I actually use two items. For my setting my under eyes, I'll use the NYX Color Correcting Powder in Banana. And from my all over face, I'll use the Sephora brand Bright Set Pressed Finishing Powder in Banana as well. For mascara, I'm also using two items. They're both from L'Oreal. The first one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise in Black is Black. And the second mascara that I top it with is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. So the Lash Paradise kind of gives you more of a thick volume and the voluminous, even though it says voluminous million lashes, I feel like it really does a great job of separating and adding a bit of length. So together you have the thickness, the length, and the separation. Again, those are both by L'Oreal. So moving into the medium priority or the preferred items, I have four different products. Um, the first one is the lipstick or the lip gloss. The second is the bronzer or the blush. Third is the eyeliner and last is the eyeshadow. Sorry if you can hear my dog, she's sleeping and you might be able to hear her snoring. But for the lipstick and the lip gloss, what I packed recently, the Minta Cosmetics brand I mentioned in my favorites video, I love them. I packed Peach Please, a nice pretty summer lip. And for the lip gloss, I'm doing the Ellery and Colourpop collaboration in the shade Stilo. And then for bronzer or blush, I usually just use one or the other. Right now I'm really into bronzer, so I use the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in the shade Deep 4. And then eyeliner, I'm really not picky with at all. Um, it just has to be liquid. But so for the liquid eyeliner, I just got this brand from Target, and it's the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Of course, it's in the shade Black. Sometimes I'll do a brown liner on my waterline uh, for pencil. But I just kind of prefer a liquid liner only on the top. So that's what I've been using now, the Wet n Wild brand. And for the eyeshadow, I love the ColourPop Pressed Palettes. I'll usually try and pack one or the other. Um, this recent trip, I packed two palettes. 
my packs of the Double Entendre and the Yes Please palette. I believe I mentioned both in recent and past favorites videos, so I'm not going to, you know, do like swatches and things like that. So check those videos out if you are interested. But ColourPop in general is really great to travel with because their palettes are thin and compact. So I do still have some room in my makeup bag here, which is perfect. Because now we can move on to the low priority items. And these are all the extra things. Things that I don't necessarily need and I would be fine without. But if I have the space, I might as well pack them. And I just have three items for the extras. They are the highlighter, contour, and lashes. So for the highlight, as you know from my favorites video, the one that I'm loving right now is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Duo in Mean Money and Hustle Baby. I particularly like the Kilowatts to travel with because you have a daytime and a nighttime option all in one duo, so it saves a little bit of space there. And for the contour, I don't know what this is called from NARS, like if it's a duo set or anything like that. I don't know if it has a particular name, but I'm really loving the NARS um, contour and highlight duo in the shade Melina. It has more contour than highlight, but I like that these are both matte. So if you just want um, like a lighter cheekbone area, but you don't want any glitter, you can have a very natural highlight with a matte finish. And that is the NARS duo. And then for lashes, I am not a big lash wearer at all, but the ones that I do really like are the Wispies from Ardell, and this pair happens to be the Studio Effects version. Now that my makeup bag is packed, if I have any extra space, I'll just go back into my makeup collection and add any extra items. Maybe I want to do a few additional options. I'll basically just fill it up until I don't have any more space in my bag. Um, this past weekend, I actually just put my makeup brushes in here to kind of double up on the space. So I do hope you found this video helpful. If you have any tips of your own for packing makeup for travel, definitely leave it down in the comments down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And also check me out on my blog. I will be posting this outfit on the blog this week. That is VintiFashion.com. And you can also follow me on social media, on Instagram and Twitter, at VintiFashion. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.